Cincinnati Public Schools to see what it'll look like when kids head back next week. Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. That's where we begin tonight. Students and the Quincy Public School District heading back to the classroom one week from tomorrow. Tonight, schools busy rearranging buildings with safety in mind. WGEM's Charity Bell begins our coverage tonight live in Quincy with more. Charity? Dylan, I'm live here at Owls Elementary where school officials say they've been planning for the return to school for months and now they have more to show for it. QPS officials say this kiosk will be one of the first stops your children make when they get to school. They walk in, have the kiosk scan their temperatures, and if it's lower than 100 degrees, they head to class. Mother of two and a QPS elementary music teacher, Jessica Snyder, says she feels comfortable sending her kids back to school. I feel like when we're doing temperature checks and the kids are wearing their masks, we're doing everything we can to keep them safe. And back in school helps with their social and emotional well-being. And I think that's really important. Quincy Public School Superintendent says installing temperature kiosk is one among many efforts they're doing to prepare for students next week. We've also purchased uh, some face shields for every student and our staff members. So, so all, they'll all have those. Uh, we're working on social distancing. We're working on uh, placing some things in place. For example, Roy Webb says temporary floor markings are being placed at Baldwin. Still, he realizes the pandemic continues and so will the risks for both remote and in-person learning. There's a lot of reasons and there's a lot of risk uh, to the remote option for some families. So uh, that's why that's what weighs on you. You've got risk either way. Snyder urges parents to spend this final week before school preparing their children. Get them out this next week and have them practice having that on. It's going to be a long day um, to have your mask on, but I think it's important if you're taking your child out in public to make sure they're practicing wearing their mask. Webb says larger schools like Quincy Junior High and Senior High will have two kiosks in addition to handheld thermometers because they have multiple school entrances. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News. 